my name is Ed and this is another episode of Cyvex Says. Today we're talking about data logging and why you would want to use that when you have real-time data on your ECU. Obviously when tuning a car, if you're in any way familiar with this, you'll be able to display on the screen in front of you real-time engine running parameters. It could be RPM, temperature, manifold pressure, all of these kind of things which are really useful for there and then. However, there may be cases where you're not available to sit in the car and you need to review data. It might be from a track car, it may be from a customer sending you information or data logs or even you reviewing your own data logs. So in this case it's very very useful to set up and configure built-in data logging on the ECU. Uh, now, Cyvex has particularly advanced data logging. You can select an individual channel, manifold, knock sensor, um, um, temperatures, or wh whatever you want, really, whatever you want. And you can also select the sample rate at which these are recorded at. Obviously, the fast you record each sensor, so for example, you can uh, log a knock sensor over a thousand times a second, that produces a fair amount of data, so your actual overall data logging time will be reduced. However, in reality, when configuring these properly, you won't approach any of these limits, and you'll be able to see in extremely fine detail anything that's going on within an ECU at that given time. This allows you to review data that happens very quickly, um, whilst not being under the pressure of trying to capture it in real time, and it allows you to look and process data and then make changes suitable for whatever the application is demanding. Um, so there, there's not a whole lot more to say about why you'd want to use data logging. There's a few examples. Um, it is very useful though, and it's quite important to spend some time setting up the data logging so that you're monitoring the right channels. For example, there's no point to monitor engine water temperature at a thousand times a second it's just not going to change that fast. Um, if you only monitored manifold pressure once every second, then that's probably not going to give you enough data. So there's a fine balance um, of setting up your sensors and feedback to provide you useful information without overloading you with too much and obviously reducing the amount of time um, you have available to record sensors if you're doing things too quickly. Um, so that's pretty much why you might want to use, or actually why you should use data logging um, alongside real-time ECU data and um, the benefits in doing so. If you found this video interesting, um, please click like. If you have any questions, ask them below. And of course, subscribe to our channel for more updates.